Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Mandy and um, Tina from TSR Creations challenged me to a do's and don'ts challenge. So I was super honored that she reached out to me. And so this is our premiere. So thank you for joining us. If you missed her video, which was first, I will link it below so you can check it out. So let me tell you what my three do's are. Um, I'm supposed to use two custom colors, could be mixed up with pigments or other colors. Do use negative space and do use purple. My three don'ts are don't use a surface smaller than 12 inches. This happens to be 12 inches. Don't use less than five colors and don't use a dark base. So let me tell you about my colors as we go. I did want to keep this video relatively short because for premieres, I just hate to have a really long video. So I'm just popping some bubbles. I'm going to do a negative space swipe using the Bloom recipe. So I have my pillow paint down, which is Color Place Bright White Satin from Walmart. I'm going to use two Boom Gels, Mana Crab Blue and Parrotfish Green. And this color I showed you just now is called Midnight Blue from Matisse. This is Poison Ivy from Color Art, and this is one of my custom colors and my purple. So it is an indigo and chalcedony mix, and that's my other custom color, which was Laguna Azul and Greek Isles. I actually threw in a third custom color, which was that last one, which was Pixie Dust and Chantilly Lace from Color Art. So all of my custom colors are Color Art Pigments or Prism Pour. And that first color I'm laying down is Mana Crab Blue, which is a Boom Gel. And I do have uh, discount codes in the description box below for Color Art and for Pixel Paint Designs where I get my Boom Gel and my Australian Floetrol. So don't forget to check those out. And now I'm putting down my Laguna Azul and Greek Isles mix. So those are both, um, they're both primary elements glitz colors and they're super beautiful mixed together. And I happened to discover that by accident. <laughs> and this is basically just using up my midnight blue. I love this shade of blue from Matisse. And I just had a little bit left in the cup, so I decided to throw it in there because I figured it would go well with the colors. This is Poison Ivy, which is from the new Summer Sequence set um, from Primary Elements. And I had that one mixed a little bit thin, so I used it kind of sparingly in a couple of different places. And here's my purple. It's kind of a bluish purple. Um, but that's my custom mix using Indigo and Chalcedony, and I used a little boysenberry in there too. I happen to have mixed that up um, for a background of a pour I did. Um, so when I saw that I was supposed to use some custom colors, I was like, perfect. I have some already mixed up. And here is uh, Poison Ivy. Again, just a nice little accent line. We're popping some bubbles. And for my cell activator, I'm going to use uh, Atelier Blue Black, which is perhaps my favorite cell activator for a swipe. And sorry, my voice is a little bit raspy. And this last but not least is Pixie Dust and Chantilly Lace mixed together. And I had this one mixed up for a little bit too, so this was a great way for me to use it. And it kind of added accents of almost like a, a light gold because of the two color combinations. As you can tell, something is making my spinner a little bit crooked. I'm just popping a couple bubbles. I sped this video up um, a little bit, so if it seems like I'm moving really fast, it's, it's about 50% faster than usual. That is Parrotfish Green, which is one of my favorite Boom Gel colors. And I like to put a Boom Gel underneath the cell activator. Um, it really helps get good cell reaction from your cell activator. 
So that's kind of why I'd like to put it at the top. Okay, so I loaded my palette knife with cell activator and I'm just kind of swooshing it over the top there, cleaning off my tool before I do the other side. I didn't get a perfect swipe on this one. I, I tend to be a little heavy handed with, with my wrist and so sometimes I'm not quite light enough when I swipe, but I, I do still think that this turns out to be really pretty. We definitely accomplished our negative space goal. So one of my favorite things about a blue black cell activator is it creates these like cloud pillow cells. Sorry about my head being right in the way. And I think that they add so much interest to the negative space swipes. And I, I love that it does that. I think it looks so cool. It's, it's sort of like if you were to incorporate pearls into the recipe. Um, and I don't, I don't, I've never done a pearl pour, like a, an actual pearl pour. I've done a pearl ring pour, but, and I always think they're so beautiful, but I love the kind of the controlled look that you get with the way they pop up around the edges. I think it looks so cool. So all I'm doing is taking the sharp side of a, a coffee star stick, the narrow, narrow side, and I'm just kind of bringing those edges together Sometimes the cell activator does this real wispy looking thing toward the edges and I just like to kind of gather that and, and make those lines look kind of intentional. When you see my big head getting in the way, all I'm trying to do is break the surface tension where there's a little bit of cell activator to make sure that the cells come through that are underneath. And again, I'm, I'm so sorry that my voice is so hoarse. I'm not sure why it's like that today. But I love the mix of those blues and greens with that blue violet color. I think they look so beautiful together. And again, I love those little pillow cells from the cell activator. I think that they are so cute. So all I'm doing now is trying to open up the center a little bit to let it widen up a little bit. But I'm careful to not do that too much because the more I do that, the more likely it is that the cells will kind of get misshapen if it's not moving really quickly. I, I really don't try to force it. So you can see it opens up a little bit. I just kind of walk it back and forth. But I think these colors were just very beautiful together. I hadn't gotten to use um, poison ivy in a pour, so I was really happy to incorporate it with these colors. And I love how that pixie dust and Chantilly lace just kind of create a little pop of like a light yellowish gold. I think that that was, that's going to look really pretty under resin when it gets resined. So this was a super fun um, do's and don'ts challenge with Tina and I'm super honored that she reached out to me to do this. It's been really fun. And I feel like we went pretty easy on our do's and don'ts with each other. We didn't <laughs> try to make it too difficult. Sometimes that's, it's fun to be challenged, but it's, it's also nice to not be too hard on each other because then you don't have to have too many practice rounds before you can get the real thing in. So I'm just covering up my edges here. Stay tuned to the end of the video. I'll let you know who I'm going to challenge next for the next do's and don'ts collaboration. Um, I have already contacted this person and they were willing to do the challenge with me. So I'm super excited to challenge the next person and keep, keep the challenge going. So all I'm doing now is popping a couple bubbles, making sure that we have enough paint off. You don't want to leave too much paint on the surface because as it dries, it can crack. And that's always kind of a bummer.
So, so far, I, I really like how simple it is. I, I like the negative space and I love those cute little cloud cells. And the colors, I think, turned out great together. It's hard for you to see all of the shimmer from the angle, but I'm going to give you a close up in just a moment. One of my favorite parts is the top left. Okay, here we go for our close up. So check out that shimmer. And while I'm showing you the close up, the next person I'm going to be challenging is Jody from the Painted Dreamer. Um, she has agreed to join in this challenge with me, so we will give give each other three do's and three don'ts. And uh, we'll share that collaboration when it's time to release those videos. But I hope you can see this shimmer up close. I really think these colors are beautiful together. This is one of my favorite parts right here. I thought that turned out, it looks like a cluster of grapes or something, really blue looking grapes. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Tina, um, for including me in this challenge. I really enjoyed it. It was a great opportunity. It's always fun to do a collaboration with another artist. Um, if for some reason you don't check out Tina's channel already, please check out her video and subscribe to her channel. She's a fantastic artist, very talented. And um, thank you so much for watching and participating. Let us know what you think in the comments. And um, appreciate everyone's support and everyone's participation. Thank you again. Don't forget to check out the description box for coupon codes, uh, social media links, and uh, Facebook group is also listed in there as well. Love to have you join and connect with us. Thank you again. Have a wonderful day.